Hey everybody, welcome to Halo RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd and behind us we have what I think is the ultimate traveler's fifth wheel. It is the Rockwood 2445WS. It is like an interesting sort of mirror twin against a very similar model that's the exact same length called the 2442 Rockwood. The difference here is you're, you're trading between the two of them. This one has a little bit more living space and it has full travel access to things like the refrigerator and transit, the 2442 Lax, but that one has a full bed slide. So it's, a, it's an interesting exchange between the two. And as you get up into their, their larger lines, like the Signature Series, they make a version that basically has both traveling access as well as the bed slide. In the smaller size like this, though, under 30 feet, and actually less than that, this is 28 feet 11 inches. It's less than 29 feet, technically. This is, I think, one of the best traveling uh, fifth wheels I could even imagine. Um, <clears throat> the shorter length and the more manageable weight of this is an awesome one-two punch combo, but then factor that in with their torsion axle and suspension system, and you have something here that rides nicely, that handles nicely. Uh, if you got a short bed, it has that uh, pivoting pin box, which can, uh, you know, make sure that the, the nose of the trailer and the cab of your truck don't get into a shoving match, because no matter who wins that, you're gonna lose. Um, <laughs> you, you may also notice they're doing some cool things like getting rid of the carpeting on these, um, and uh, really listening to a lot of customer feedback. Now, it is one heck of a windy son of a gun today. I'm not saying I saw a house fall on the Wicked Witch of the East, but um, I'm not not saying that uh, either. Do, 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 do. Um, as we go through this one, it's a relatively new floor plan. You may have missed it when it came out last year. Uh, but if it's your first time seeing it, let us know what you think about it. The good, the bad, with the ugly, with everything in between. I'll leave you a link in the video description where you can check for pricing and availability. And I will show you the high points and the low points. And if you appreciate that, make sure you hit that subscribe button to catch us on the next one, knowing that you're going to get that fair info. And it's this kind of wacky originality that actually, uh, I mean, really last year, it just I just kind of fell in love with Rockwood's fifth wheels. They hadn't really been on my radar very much before. And then, all of a sudden, it's like they they just sort of went, okay, what if we stopped trying to figure out what everyone else is doing? And what if we just built the RV that we wanted to? Like, what if we, nobody else ever made a fifth wheel before and there were no rules? And they came up with these weird things. And and I love, I love how everything is a little bit different in here. Um, now, again, this is kind of the, the, the flip-flop uh, negative evil twin of the 2442. And one of the main differences here is that you see this has a full dinette instead of just that little dining bar. Now, they, uh, all the Rockwoods now have those night roller shades standard, no longer optional. And you can see how uh, this has no floor heating vents. Instead, we're side cabinet ducted. And they have begun getting rid of the carpet in their entire lineup. Now, it's not fully completed yet. It's kind of been like a rolling change. They said, okay, we understand a lot of people want to get rid of the carpet. We are going to get on board and we are going to do this. Um, it's not the world's largest TV. It's not the world's biggest entertainment center. But let me give you a little bit of a view from the theater seat straight across from it right here. And uh, I don't know, maybe this will help you kind of determine if it's the right one for you or not. It's not massive. I think it's big enough considering the space that we have to work with here. And when we are sitting in a seat, let me put you in the driver's seat and take a peek around. Um, that oven, by the way, I always forget to talk about this uh, when I start opening up the cabinetry, but that is a, a larger 22 inch oven. But one of the things I said I would do is I would kind of, I would share the, uh, you know, the excellent points on this one along with Maybe the potential pitfalls or, 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 you know, hiccup points on it. And one of those is definitely this rear corner. Because they moved the refrigerator over into its current position right there, it made it so that when that dinette slide closes, you can still access it in transit. And if you hang out with me a little bit longer here, uh, I'll actually close the slides up so you can see it in travel mode. What that means, though, is you've got this weird corner of space. It was, I, I don't know, a little bit unavoidable. I do like, though... They put a set of outlets back there, that extra light, and uh, it, it really does help, I think, um, you know, make it not look like such a cave. Uh, personally, I think the solution for a space like that would be put some kind of um, appliance in there, like a, uh, a coffee maker, uh, a something like that, something that's going to eat up a fair chunk of real estate 
so uh, that you don't feel like you have to reach in there so much. So my question for you is, what would you put in that? And, do you see what I see? Rockwood actually puts the shade in the door. Yeah! Sorry, that is such a thing for me. They're like one of the only manufacturers that's actually doing that from the factory level. Most of them are like, oh, it's thin shade ready. And it's it's a simple little thing that it literally just clicks in place. It doesn't even require like labor time to install. It's just, it's a couple bucks. And I think if you ask 10 people, 11 of them will say, yes, I would prefer to have the shade in the door. Thank you. Now, one thing I want to mention here is you see there's that one cabinet door that's not open. That's not storage. There's a little mini like outside kind of camp kitchen situation on going on right there. So that's like an access panel to some of that stuff. The reason I like to take the time to really move you slow is first of all, so you don't get motion sick and you continue to watch our videos. Hopefully this is uh, being effective. But secondly, so that you really get to take in the fact that this little rig, it's a small living room. It's a sweet kitchen. Like, look at the giant space back here. And one of the other things I want to point out on that is this is one of, like, several outlets in the RV. There's another one hidden under the little dinette bench over here that we're going to see that are uh, wired to the inverter. So if you are kind of boondocking off grid camping, you can utilize those plugs for, like, household appliances like lights or fans or whatnot. A little bit better view of the, uh, the, the carpetless nature of this. And you see that uh, totally free-floating table. You can wiggle that thing, move it around, uh, you know, any direction that you want to. Now, I think when we had the dinette down in the sleeper mode, you got to see all the nightshades. I wanted to pivot around those a little bit so you get to see that all of those windows also open for airflow. But we're not done, because this theater seat's got a couple tricks up its sleeve, too. Because it's not just a theater seat. Like, this is where Rockwood really flexes, I think, their... Um, you know, hold my beer, I'll do everything you do, plus one mentality. Like, it's a wall hugger. You can see on the left side, it doesn't fully recline flat, but you kind of want to be able to keep a little bit of an eye on the TV, you know? But look at the armrests! The armrests have, like, little phone storage pockets. And then if we get right down in here, like, almost like endoscopy mode, you know, uh, you see that inside the middle console, there's a household uh, outlet and a pair of USB plugs. So if you just have, like, your little phone charge cable sitting in there, you can just sort of pull it out from under the armrest when you need it, and then, you know, just shove it back down in there when your phone's charged up or when you get up or something like that. It's just, it's, it's so simple, it's so easy, and yet, like, nobody else seems to do this stuff consistently. Now, I want to mention that we have this one outfitted today. This is how we normally bring them in, but this is the lightest color combination available from Rockwood. Um, on this uh, on this model, on this series, it's the Newport Ash Wood Tone with the stone lighter fabric. In a small space like this, it just really feels like it helps keep everything a little bit lighter and brighter and open. They do have a darker brown fabric. They do have a darker brown wood tone. So everything's going to kind of be in that brown family of colors. But, uh, you know, you're not stuck with only what you see here. By the way, another little note on the kitchen. That is a little bit larger micro. Actually, it's about 50% larger. You can actually get a real dinner plate in there, which is kind of cool. Now, as we uh, move up our steps here, you notice they are uh, carpetless, just like the rest of the flooring through the RV. You will technically see a small bit of carpet in the uh, bedroom, but nothing that you really walk on. And it's actually, I think, kind of cool that Rockwood still just gives us switches for like our main lights and stuff like that. But you can do pretty much anything off this panel remotely with the We RV app, which is kind of like another variation of the LCI One control system, just sort of dedicate a little bit to Rockwood. If you get the solar package, that's where your charge controller is going to be located. And then we gring ourselves, gring? Yeah, we gring ourselves. Oh, I don't even know why you guys watch me. I'm an idiot. Uh, up here into the bathroom. We're going to start from the top and work our way down. You've got that big uh, rain sensing, by the way, XL vent fan, which actually has a remote control in case you're not as tall as me. But I'm going to slide inside the bathroom real quick to kind of show you that you got this extra little cabinet up here. What would you do with this? It's not big, but that's actually the thing I think is kind of exceptional about it. Even though it's not a, a, a very big extra gain of space, I love that Rockwood didn't just waste it. They're like, we have an opportunity here. Let's, let's utilize that. They're very good about that, you know? You can certainly find something as a result that would definitely be a dollar cheaper, maybe not with this floor plan, because I've never seen somebody else with this layout. But, you know, they're they're just so detail-oriented. 
Now I'm at a bad angle to show it, so I got you a still photo here of me sitting on the pot, basically. It is angle mounted, that porcelain stool, into the room a little bit. So you actually have very good uh, hip leg shoulder room in here. I, I think it's a it's a, a really well executed bathroom, especially considering like this thing's only, we'll just say 29 feet for the sake of ease. This is only a 29 foot floor plan. It's just a really, really well done 29 foot floor plan. And that vaulted ceiling, really nice for someone like me, 6'3 or, uh, uh, or uh, shorter, you're gonna be able to stand in that shower without constantly bumping your head or anything like that, which is kind of nice. Got the handy little corners, like big shower with the corner seat, like a giant luxury fifth wheel and something that's 29 feet. You know, it's hard to find. Also, some very handy boondock off-grid friendly features, not just the solar and inverter, but you see over there the uh, shower miser system. So if you are off grid, it will recirculate the water uh, that would have come through the shower back into your fresh tank. So you don't end up wasting any fresh water into your gray tank when you're waiting for your water to heat up. Now from there, we're gonna start working up into the bedroom. And thankfully, gravity is mostly doing the job for me. But uh, one of the cool things that Rockwood does here, they have the nice little magnet holdback for the bedroom door. And it's got a a little bit of a spring recoil to it, just a slight one, so it doesn't rat-a-tat against that thing. It tends to catch very nicely. And it's kind of cool that you can just sort of keep the door open like that. And from my experience, the door is usually, it's it's held back like that, even when they get uh, left open in transit. Montana does the same thing, and that's actually some something that uh, some Montana owners I've seen in owners forums have commented on. Uh, we never close our door in transit. We always leave that open and I've never gotten someplace and seen the door hanging wide open or anything like that. It works. It works well. Now, if you prefer a bed slide, again, look at that link in the video description for the 2442 Rockwood. This, the 2445, has a north-south true queen bed. There's no washer dryer accommodations or anything like that in here. There's no room where you could do anything like that. But what I like about it, especially over here on this side... This is way easier to walk around. There's far more floor space available. Now, again, the little bump up right there, that is for the, uh, the gooseneck structure because the hitch is actually directly under you when you're sleeping. It takes a lot of extra steel and it kind of bumps its way up into the RV a little bit when you're doing that. But um, it, uh, it, this is very easy to walk around. It's very CPAP friendly, even if you're off grid because both of those sets of household outlets on either side of the bed are uh, uh, wired to the inverter. Now, in case you're curious, TV hookups on this one are over here on the wall right there. You definitely want to get an articulating swing arm mount if you do that. Um, and again, just to be fair, I like to acknowledge things when I see them. This is a little thing that we're going to get corrected. I noticed there's a little bit of gappiness on the trim. We've already noted that we're already going to get our people on that, but I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm not going to act like it's not there. You know, it's something that we're going to handle. It's actually a very rare miss. That is Rockwood's fit and finish is typically on point. But that being said, that's the only thing on this that we really could note where maybe they, they missed a little bit. Um, now, again, 60 by 80, true queen bed right down here. So it's easy to find sheets or replacement mattresses. These are sealed edge press membrane counters, uh, by the way. And um, if we start like uh, over here on this little side stand, you can see there's actually a surprising amount of storage in here. Um, Maybe not as much as the front closet model, sure, but you get better travel access with this one and you're getting um, the, uh, you know, less weight overall and less cost. It's actually, this is a slightly, not much, but slightly less expensive RV as compared to its bed slide uh, brethren, um, I, I guess you could say, as it were. Now, one last thing here and then we'll close her up for road mode. These are 50 amp service. Um, you can get a second air conditioner on these as small as this is. Um, I, I could definitely see this one going either way. We're probably going to bring a measure of these in stock like you're seeing here with the second air prep. And then we're probably going to bring a handful of these in at some point with the second air actually on them. At any point, though, definitely uh, give our team a call to see what we have on hand to make sure we got the right one for you. Or we could always just add the air if you need it. Now, as we cruise through this one in road mode, I'm going to bundle that up with a couple other things. One of the nice things about a north-south true queen like this is that that wardrobe slide doesn't interfere with it. But notice those blackout roller shades. You'll find those all the way through the RV. A couple other key little notes for you. Make sure you add this to your uh, you know, pre-trip checklist. Make sure you slide that shower door back to the left and latch it so it doesn't uh, you know, go jiggle banging around and, and getting smashed up. Now, this right here is really one of the key differences between this, the 2445, 
and it's, you know, Mirror Twin, the 2442. This one maintains access to the refrigerator in transit. So it is, uh, I think, totally turtle friendly. Now, certainly you lose out on some of the pantry space, but there's enough other storage here. I think we've established that, uh, you know, you can be smart about where you pack stuff and still be able to access some things in transit. Now, have you noticed how the lights are running? I'm going to do something I don't normally do. How you doing there, Mr. Nate? I'm just going to cruise my way around here. And I'm going to actually take you up into the belly of the beast. I'm going to show you that while I do have my battery box in here, you can see it is not at all hooked up. Those battery boxes are empty. All the battery leads are just hanging here and never, never land. The power that we're getting right now, the power that we've been using through this video, is actually coming in live off that solar package. Even on a dreary overcast day like this, you can still basically get live power to some basic things like lighting that are a lower power draw. Now, if you want to run slides and awnings, yeah, you're going to have to get the uh, battery on there and the battery engaged. But for just kind of general poking around, just to give you an idea of how robust that is, that's just one panel. Then you can double it. Plus, there's the opportunity for a portable side panel. Now, you, you may have noticed the clouds changed, the sky changed there, and the sun kind of went away. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we're getting some some crazy uh, winds rolling in here. And um, uh, if, it, if it picks up much more, I, I may not be getting on the roof for this one today just for safety reasons. A couple quick options I want to point out as long as we're staring at her, you know, amidships maybes. Uh, the first is the uh, white and graphite exterior package with a couple little orange kind of pops on it just to give her a little touch of color. Um, the standard exterior on this is a champagne exterior with some nice chocolate accents. Very classic, very classy. I think it looks very good. We had just have so many requests for this. And I think the white exterior is probably going to help it stay a little cooler in the hot summer sunshine. Double slam latches. And remember, you don't have to kablam those things shut when you're at a campsite and wake your neighbors up. But what I want to show you in here is the fact that it's kind of neat the way they just, it's simple, but it's effective. The little docking center and everything that they kind of tuck away over here. And their outside shower in the docking center right here, you see it's got that handy blue coily sprayer hose. Remember that, because when we jump over to the, I don't know, it kind of camp kitchen side, we're going we're, we're gonna to circle back on that one, basically. Now over here, that is the 1,000 watt inverter that uh, comes with the solar package on this. Keep in mind, though, if you get the um, two-way gas electric fridge instead of the 12-volt fridge. The solar in the inverter is not uh, uh, standard. It is just packaged with the 12-volt fridge, but you can always re-add it with the two-way fridge. So just kind of log that in your memory banks, depending on what you're ordering. Now, over on the opposite side of the pass here, here notice for a small fifth wheel, frankly, pretty good belly size in this, and the little rockwood touches. Just giving you the little hangers, nothing fancy, but just keeping everything kind of up out of the way. Pretty nice. Now, next to that inverter, you see the automatic leveling controls. Auto leveling is an option that we've also applied to these. And the kind of pink looking cylinder right there, that is for your um, drinking water filter. One of the nice little things that Rockwood includes on these. Um, the uh, uh, hitch on the front of this is a turning point hitch. If you're not familiar with that, if you have a short bed pickup, you can uh, engage the pivot function on this. Uh, it, it, it can operate as a con conventional fixed kingpin, but it can also operate as a pivoting pin box to help with some short bed friendliness, which is kind of cool. Um, the uh, awning for a smaller fifth wheel, I think they did pretty darn good actually. Uh, and the, uh, the, the full size entry door, that's another thing Rockwood does really well. They don't do like big or small entry doors, they just do entry doors. They make them wider, they're anti-slam, so in a windy situation like this, they're not gonna kablam against the side of the RV. You know, like Miss Piggy Karate chopped it, Kermy. Um, down here, you have a, uh, a four plank Moride stable step, but Rockwood doing Rockwood things, it's one of those anti-gravity steps that can just kind of hold itself up in the air if need be. Um, if I didn't have Wicked Weather moving in, I would demonstrate that for you. You've probably seen it in some of our other videos. We can always drop you a link. Um, uh, the standard tires on these, Goodyear Endurance Radials with factory TPMS. And notice, it's literally these stable steps that make this floor plan possible, because there'd be no room for a step well. Those stable steps actually allowed Rockwood's engineers to uh, better engineer the balance point on this fifth wheel so that uh, you, know, you're, you have better control of it. You have less, t uh, like, front to back herky jerkiness as a result. Some, it, it's funny how sometimes the knee bone can be connected to the leg bone. Now, this is where I've seen kind of camp kitchen-ish. So what defines a camp kitchen? We got an outside fridge, 
We've got a, a side mounted propane cooker hooker with a factory supply griddle and a handy little table. We don't have a sink, but we do have a hot cold uh, outside shower and remember that coily hose. That's where I say and keep that in your memory banks because that's where that would hook up over here or you could get two of them. It is also set for a TV outside. Now, if somebody wants to say, I don't consider that a camp kitchen, I would say, okay, I, you know, that's, that's, I get it, but it's pretty much a camp kitchen. <laughs> now the spare tire, by the way, is actually belly mounted. You can, you, you can sort of see its silhouette down there. It's almost behind uh, or between-ish the uh, the two rear tires on this one. There's like a little crank that'll drop it down um, Good news being good years and having TPMS chances of you needing that pretty low Remember though even the very best tire could still like pick up a screw on the road I mean anything could possibly happen on the back here We have a little two inch accessory hitch and if memory serves that is actually an optional piece of equipment because these always have a full bumper you, And that's another cool thing with Rockwood. I, have you noticed uh, bumpers going missing more and more frequently instead of where in the world is Carmen San Diego it's like where in the world are they taking all the bumpers <laughs> but you can get a hitch and a bumper on these um, one other thing uh, people ask about so I want to make sure I try to point this out is this does have two uh, like sewer outlets you have one for just the kitchen behind that slide and then you can see the other one in front of those tires uh, for the, uh, the the bathroom space so this thing has one black tank and two gray tanks now the underbelly of this is a uh, fully enclosed standard these also have standard 12 volt tank heaters um, and a radiant barrier through the belly and up the nose cap um, people might ask is Rockwood four seasons I can't promise that they very well may be capable of passing that kind of testing but Rockwood has never actually cold chambered and tested their RVs to my knowledge and published any kind of data on that so they haven't made the promise so I won't make the promise and I won't make something up just to try to like get a sale from you real quick that's not the kind of business we do here at our family's dealership one of the other really nice things about being up here is Rockwood's roofing it, it always feels so sturdy underfoot, probably because of the, the laminated aspect of this. This is uh, a five-sided laminated product. The roof, the sidewalls, uh, the, the front and the rear, those are laminated. The floor is the only thing that is not, but it is aluminum framed. It does have a 5 8 tongue groove plywood floor decking. It's built like a 16,000 pound like toy hauler floor. It's, it's frankly, it's overbuilt. Um, but uh, is there really, is there such a thing as overbuilt? I mean, that's arguable, frankly. Uh, what is also nice are all the extras. That's why I like to get you up here. Like the fact that you've got that uh, vent cover for the bigger vent fan. The TV antenna also doubles as the Wi-Fi Ranger, which is your, it's not technically this, but basically it's like a built-in router. If you don't know what a signal access point means in tech terms, it's it's going to act effectively like a router for you, which is kind of nice. You hook it up to a thing and then it rebroadcasts, which is nice. Um, and remember, when you get the 12 volt fridge, or if you uh, option the uh, solar package on with the two way fridge, you've got the 190 watt roof panel and 1000 watt inverter, but they do also offer a uh, option for dual roof panels. Okay, take number 37, and in case you're curious why I'm saying that, stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see it took me a couple times to get this one together here. The trailer really blows me away, but um, the wind is also about to do exactly that, so I'm going to try to pick up the pace. Um, if you really want to make this thing super boondock capable, you can go with the two-way fridge, uh, you could add the solar package, add the second panel, get a portable panel aftermarket that you can plug into the side prep, or even if you're parked in the shade, you can still get some sun. And unless you're gonna sit there and just hit the button and open and close the slides all day, I could not imagine you'd be able to deplete those batteries. So let me ask you, how would you want yours built? What do you think, guys? Uh, I, 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 I get that it's got a couple hangups, but like I said, if you're looking to do some, some traveling, some narrow sites, maybe some of those parks where you gotta weave through some very kind of tight hairpin turns and some, uh, some switchback kind of turns, this is, a, I, I just, it's hard for me to imagine one that's going to be better than that. And frankly, not everybody likes a bed slide because they can be hard to get around. It can be hard to make the bed. This is so much more wide open and accessible in the bedroom. I really, though, I don't know which one I like better. So I tell you what, if you're willing to do this for me, I'll leave you a link to the 2442 sister to this in the video description. If you could watch both of them even just scanning through it or like speed me up to like double time where it sounds like i'm a little chipmunk talking super super fast on fast forward mode um and let me know which one you like and why i'd appreciate knowing that because 
Sometimes a little bit of your feedback helps sway me one way or the other. Appreciate it as always, guys. Remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We only do everything else. So sorry for the convenience. <laughs> Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone. Rockwood! You make your stuff good. You make everything groovy. Rockwood. And in case you ever wonder what's wrong with me, the only thing I can tell you is so many things. You could get the two-way fridge. You could get the double solar panel. You'd have the option of getting a portable panel. And, uh, 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 <laughs>